Hi everyone, it's Lindy on from Pink Whisper Designs. Today we're going to use the Lawn Fawn Build a Drink add-on set and we're going to create a really fun tropical card. So let's go ahead and get started. To create the background for our scene, we're going to use these stencils from Lawn Fawn and this is the Beach Sunset Stencil Set. And I'm just going to be using that one on the right hand side. We'll talk about the other one a little bit later on as well. Now I want to create the water for my background and I'm just trying to figure out where the top of that water will be. So I'm going to use that straight edge of the stencil to mask this top section of the card off. And I'm just using some post-it tape. And now I'll start off with the Salvage Patina Distress Oxide Ink. And I've got my blending brush. I'm going to start from the bottom and work up. Maybe about a third of this space at the bottom is going to be that color. So let's come in with the second color. And this is Peacock Feather. So this is just a little bit darker. And then what I want to do is make sure I go back with that lighter brush and blend these two together. And then for my next color, I'm going to be using the Wilted Violet. This Wilted Violet blends with that Peacock Feathers. It is just so beautiful. So you can start to see that blending right there. I'm also going to pull a little bit of that Wilted Violet down into the lower section. And then for my darkest color, I'm coming in with the Villainous Potion. And that will be just at the very top of that horizon line. And then what I want to do is clean off that brush and then just start blending this out. Again, take your time blending. Make sure you get, get some really smooth blending here. And I'll also mention that I'm using the, the Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock, which is a really beautiful cardstock to do your blending. Let's take some Liquid Stardust from Lawn Fawn, and this is a really pretty sparkle. I'm going to add a little bit of water to that, and I'm stenciling on my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. So this is a magnetic station. I'm going to spatter this entire panel, and you do want to make sure you shake that Liquid Stardust really well before you use it. So now you can see, look at this beautiful water we have. So let's let that dry. Now I've got another panel that measures four and a quarter and I've cut it up to maybe about an inch and a half. We're not gonna need all of that. But what I wanna do is take the bottom part of this stencil, which is the sand. I'm going to mask off anything above that just so I don't get ink up there uh, by mistake. And let's start off with this light brown color. And this is going to be the antique linen. I'm going to add that in that entire stencil area. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit darker color using the gathered twigs. And I'm just using a little bit of ink around the edges. I wanna keep that lighter color in the center. Then we'll go back to that lighter brush and blend these together. Now let's take the gather twigs and place a little bit on, on our Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. And before I spatter that, what I thought I would do is come back in with the Salvage Patina and just add a little bit of that blue tint right at the top of my sand, just so it looks like it has a little bit of moisture in it, a little bit of water in there, where the water and the sand meet each other. So once I've blended that out, Again, I'm going back to the gathered twigs, adding a little bit of water to that, and then spattering this panel. And I'm also going to add a little bit of the ground espresso for a little bit darker spatter so we get a nice variety in that sand. I'm just removing that post-it tape, and now you can see how pretty this little border is. Once that was dry, I'm taking my detail scissors and I'm just going to cut that out. Now you could certainly stencil this directly onto your cardstock. I just wanted to add a little dimension to this piece, so I decided to do it separately. I'm using those two inks and going around the edges just to remove that white edge around that border. 
So let's go back to the stencil and now we want to do that beautiful sun. I'm going to place plenty of magnets down and plenty of post-it tape to cover up that extra stenciling that we're not going to be using. And now I want to start with my darkest color. And this is the festive berries. So I'm going to add a nice dark layer of that down at the bottom of the sun. And then I'm going to take the picked raspberry and blend that a little bit further. And then I'll grab the squeezed lemonade and finish that off. And where those colors blend, oh, I just think that is so gorgeous. So look at how pretty that is. So now I want to do the rest of the sky. I'm going to put that post-it tape back down. I should have grabbed a clean piece of post-it tape, but I was too lazy to do that. So you'll see here I accidentally moved a little bit of that purpley color from the tape up into my sky, but I'm not going to worry about it. But over here, I'll take better precautions and place that post-it tape there. And this is the squeezed lemonade that I'm putting in the upper part of the sky. Now, I would just wanted to show you that other stencil. You could use that to create some really beautiful palm trees in your scene, but we're not going to be using that today. So now I want to create a little bit of that grassy area or that seaweed area down at the bottom of the card. I'm using that little border as a guide. I placed it down and then I slid it down just a little bit so that I know approximately where to put these little clumps of grass. So let's start off with the lightest color and that's going to be the twisted citron. And then we'll come in with a little bit darker color and that's the mowed lawn. And I'm just adding it to the base and then just pulling it up. So I added that one larger one, then well, let's add this smaller one. And then off camera, I'll do a few more just to fill in along that sandy area. So once that was all set, let's remove that stencil again and you can see that that is going to be so pretty. So now here is the original build a drink die set. And you can see there's an example on the back of all the cute little pieces that you get. And this is the card that I created with that set. So I will list and link that for you down below and also on my blog. So if you want to check that card out, that's a little shaker card. So that was really fun to do. But today we're using the build a drink cocktail add-on set. And this has this really pretty shaped glass. I just love that. And again, on the back, there's a nice little sample of what you get in this set. So you get some little leaves, you get a cherry, you get a nice little collection of items for your drink. And now I'm going to take this holographic paper and I'll show you some of the other papers in this paper pack. This is again from Lawn Fawn and this is called the holographic paper pack. We're going to grab this one here, which I used on that other card as well. And I just love it for the glass. Just gives it a lot of sparkle and shine. Let's go ahead and run this through the Sizzix Sidekick machine. And then I also die cut the panel that will be the liquid for the inside of our drink. Going back to the squeezed lemonade and the twisted citron, let's add some color to the liquid. So I'm going to start off with the green, add a little bit of that yellow, and then really blend those together. And then to add a little more shadow at the bottom, I'm just going to come in with a little bit more of that Twisted Citron. Now I've got Squeezed Lemonade, Twisted Citron, and Mowed Lawn. And I'm just going to randomly place these colors onto a scrap piece of some Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. And again, that cardstock just allows these inks to blend so beautifully. You have plenty of time to do your blending. And I don't want it to be perfect. I want some light and dark areas. I'm going to use this panel to die cut out some of the leaves at the little greenery for our drink. So I'll, let's again run those through the Sizzix Sidekick machine. And I'm going to die cut several of these. 
Got a little collection of those. Now that little add-on set also has this cute little cherry. You get two pieces, the stem and the cherry itself. And to color these in, I'm going to go back to the Distress Oxide inks. I've got festive berries, and I'll start off with the pit, picked raspberry. So I'm going to start off with that. I'm, I'm using my little Picket Fence Studio brushes. These are one quarter inch round brushes, and these are great for doing these little areas. And what I did was I added a little bit of the darker color at the bottom, cleaned off that brush, and then just did a little bit more blending. For the stem, I'm going back to the gathered twigs. And again, I'm using one of these small little brushes. These are just so cute and so easy to use in these tiny little spaces. Now let's grab the ice. I've got some pearlized vellum paper. This is kind of a sheer see-through paper, but it has that pretty pearl effect to it. I thought that would be really pretty for these little ice cubes. I'll die cut a few of those, and then I'm going back to the Twisted Citron and the Mowed Lawn to do my little lime. This is a little slice of lime that we're going to put on the edge of our drink. So let's run that through with the Twisted Citron. And then what we can do is add a little bit of the mowed lawn just right around the edges. And then we can go ahead and glue these two together. I'm using the Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive to do my gluing today. Just going to glue this down and then we'll pop those little pieces right back into place. So let's place this down first. You don't have to put those little pieces back in, but I thought it would be cute just to add those back in. I'm using my little pickup tool to easily place those down. So you can see that up close. Let's set that aside to dry and grab the Lawn Fawn Elephant Parade add-on set. We're just going to be using the sentiment that says, let's celebrate. This does have a coordinating die set available as well. Now I've got a piece of acetate because I want to angle my sentiment around the curve of the sun. So if you place that acetate down first, gives you an opportunity to lay the stamp on there and it won't move around on you. So I'm just snipping the very top of this stamp just so that I can bend it a little bit more easily. You don't want to cut into your letters at all, but in between the letters you can cut some little slits. And now what I can do is press this right onto that acetate and that will hold it in place for me. So let me make sure I press that down really well. And now I can close the lid on my Misty and pick up that stamp. Once I pick that up, I can remove that acetate. I like to check to make sure that I like the way this is going to stamp and where the positioning is. So what I do is I grab a piece of vellum paper. This is just a little tip that works for me. I grab some vellum paper, then I go ahead and I do my stamping. Now I can see through it. I can see exactly where the sentiment is, if I like it. If not, at this point, I can change it, but I'm good with that. That's a much easier way than having to redo all of your uh, background. So I find that works for me. Now I've got that sticky mat in here, so sometimes it gets stuck down pretty well. Just lift up that mat and bend it backwards and your little cardstock will pop right out. This cardstock measures four and a quarter by 11 inches. I'm scoring at, at five and a half inches. So this will be a standard A2 size top folding card. I've got that sandy border. We can go ahead and glue that down. Now let's build up the drink so we can add the liquid to the very top part of this glass. 
Just going to pop it in back here. On this, I did not cut any of that liquid away. I let that liquid go right up to the top, so it looks really pretty, like a full glass of the a full glass of this drink. And now I've got those little ice cubes. I'm just kind of positioning those around. And I've got this little cherry, and it has a little slit in it. So that's what you see me doing there, is I'm trying to get that little slit open so that I can pop this stem right into place. So that's a nice little detail on this die set. I'll just clip this together using my reverse tweezers from scrapbook.com and let that dry. Now what I'm going to do is add that ice and I'm just putting little tiny drops of glue because this is vellum paper. You can see through it. So I just wanna put a couple little drops and then smooth it out with my finger. That'll hide it pretty well. And since we are using that pearlized vellum, it's not going to be as see-through as the clear vellum would be. Got my little cherry, let's pop that into place. And then again, for this lime, I want it to sit on the corner of the drink glass. So what I'm going to do is cut a little notch right out of the center. Just like a little V I'm making there. You can see that there, and then I'm going to tuck that over the glass. So I'll put a little bit of glue on this back section and on the front section, and then we'll glue that in place, and we'll also clamp that down and let that dry. Let's add the card panel to the card, and these are, again, four and a quarter by five and a half, so they'll line up perfectly. And now I'm tucking the drink in here just temporarily so I can add some of the greenery that we cut out. I just want to have that there so I kind of know where things need to be. And then we'll, we'll glue it down permanently once we have all these little sprigs down here. I like to just kind of give them a little bit of dimension using my fingers to just curl them up a little bit. Now all of the products I'm using today are listed and linked down below and also on my blog. Let's add some glue to the entire back of this. And now we can permanently place this down. I'm just centering it on the card. Now we can add a few more of these in the front area. I know I said in the previous video that I, I know summer is coming to an end and I really don't want it to. So I decided to create these couple of tropical cards, beachy cards, just to extend the summertime feel a little bit longer. And let's fill in. So here I'm just filling in any of those little open areas. Now I wanted to add a few little seashells. So I've got the Lawn Fawn Life is Good stamps and die set. And I went ahead and stamped and colored those in. I've got the starfish, the little uh, sand dollar, and that little clamshell. And I'm going to just add these right to, right in front of that drink. So let's go ahead and glue those down. Now we can add a little bit of sparkle. I've got the Wink of Stella clear glitter pen and I'm adding a little clear sparkle to those. And I'll add a little bit to that lime. And I'm going to add some to those ice cubes. Now I've got a white gel pen and I'm going to add a few little highlights on all of these items. That'll just make everything pop out a little bit better. And I'll add some to the top of that sand as well. So let's take a closer look at the finished card. I love these colors. I love that purple in the water. 
So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. And again, I'll list and link down below the, that first video that I did with the Build-A-Train set. So I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me today. Take care. Bye-bye.